Hello everyone. <clears throat> Sorry, everyone. This is Rookie. Welcome back to Wicked Willow. Let's continue where we left off, shall we? We are here. Morning, beautiful. <laughs> Good morning. Willow, if I may bother you with a question of a personal nature? Uh, we just spent a night under the sheets together. <laughs> I think you need to ask permission about personal questions. Did you... Did you tell your parents? Oh, about last night? <laughs> you know what I mean. Did you tell them about the fact that... Well... You know, you're... Uh... I never did. I don't know why I didn't say anything. I mean, I knew they'd probably accept me. Especially my dad. Why your father especially? <laughs> I found his porno stash once. <laughs> oh god. Lots of girl and girl magazines. Anything strike your fancy? Like, before I could even process if they were attractive to me, all I could think is, this has got to be a good sign. <laughs> he can't judge me too much if this is what's in his closet. But I didn't say anything to him. Why not? Even if they were supportive, it's not like I wanted to talk about that kind of stuff with my parents anyway. I mean, where would the conversation even go from there? Hey, I like girls. Oh, that's nice. Do you like tits or ass? <laughs> to you, that's an awkward moment. I would have killed to be able to talk to my parents like that. Aww. Maybe it would have been better to say something. But... I never tested that theory. I never had a girlfriend. And then, eight months ago, I... the car crash. You know about that? Is Lydia a witch too? Yeah, I. Uh... It's not exactly a secret what happened to you, Willow. Even if it ended up being an awkward moment, I should have said something. I should have taken the chance. I should have been brave. Trust me, Lydia. The burden of regret is heavier than shame can ever be. I like that turn of phrase. It's the ear, Nasli. <laughs> Is that the first genuine compliment you've ever given me? I know, right? I'm trying to be nice here. Oh! Don't be a sundry. Speaking of awkward moments, uh... I think it's about time for me to sneak out the back of the apartment complex. <laughs> what? Why? So nobody knows we... Nobody knows we are a couple of queers. Do you have to say it like that? <laughs> I don't have to, but it's pretty fun. Oh, speaking of fun, let's grab breakfast. Breakfast? Together? You mean... Yes. Like a date? Why not? And yes, we're walking out of the apartment together. Hand in hand, if you complain. <laughs> but that's just not done. Huh? <laughs> Sounds like a complaint to me. My hand has never been more excited. Except, you know, for once or twice. You're making me blush. <laughs> Good. Much as I appreciate your levity, Willow. 
What if people see us? What will they think? Screw people. That's what I think. Ugh, who cares? Right. Easy for you to say. You don't really have a reputation to maintain, do you? Do you really want to be a slave to narrow-minded judgments of others? I'd rather starve a free woman than be a slave with a full belly. You said those words to me once, remember? Uh, not really. Should I? No. I'm sure the moment wasn't as memorable for you as it was for me. Alright, Willow. I'll eat with you. You've got nothing to worry about. I mean, they'll probably think we're just two friends sharing a meal. Anybody that knows us knows we aren't friends. Okay, we're two mortal enemies debating the Bible. <laughs> uh, we're hashing out the fine points of, uh, the, the Book of Leviathan. I think you mean Leviticus. Dak, whatever, close enough. <sighs> whatever. <laughs> I mean, it is the part of the Bible that says don't be gay. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, right after it says don't eat shellfish. Oh, <laughs> well, that one I happen to agree with. <laughs> Why here? Hmm. It's my favorite place. Besides, where else are we going to get vegan food around here? Um... Why are you a vegan anyhow? Why not? You can't just say why not as your argument, Willow. Why not? Be serious, I wanna know. Well, if you were trapped on a farm, would you wanna be milked by a farmer just so someone can add cream to their coffee? I'm not even going to think about that. And in this scenario, I'm the cow? I mean, you don't have udders. You got titties, though. Are you the farmer or the person drinking the coffee? Oh, I like the way you think. Avery? I... This isn't what it looks like. I... I can go, if I'm making anyone uncomfortable. Both of you, relax. Lydia, there's no reason to worry. Avery knows about us. You... you told him? When would you have even had the time? We've been together ever since... Uh... Actually, he was the one that suggested we have a little talk. I'm glad it seems to have worked out. I'll... See you later, Willow. Three's a crowd, you know. But, Avery! Oh. He was hoping it wouldn't work out between us. Oh man, I wanted to talk more to Avery. Wait, what? Because he likes you. What? No, no way! Avery's been my friend since forever! I think I would have noticed that by now. Right. You're less observant than you think you are, Willow. Oh, uh, this is Shadow. I, I legit forgot about Shadow. Oh, right. Your emotional support animal. Pleased to meet you, Shadow. Willow, I've been looking all over for you. Did you read the paper? What's going on? You've got to get it to Tanya straight away! Uh, you know, this really isn't a good time. Trust me, the entire world is in danger. The entire world? Wait, you can hear Shadow? Wait a minute, you can hear me. That's what I was saying. Whoa, whoa! Hold, hold up. Lydia, you've got some questions to answer. A whole bunch. That's what I've been trying to tell you! You too can have your little tiff later. In case you forgot, we've got a world to save. I'm coming with you. Tanya, this is... 
The famous Lydia, I presume. Willow, have you been talking about me? I got this paper from Shadow. It says tensions in the Balkans could lead to World War III. Oh no. Do we need to get on a plane to Belgrade or something? I appreciate your courage, Villa, but... If she's going, I'm going. Don't tell me me loving someone caused World War III now. Lydia, it's a war zone. There is no need for that, Lydia, I assure you. Why's that now? The war in the Balkans is no threat to us. But I heard Shadow say... That's right. How did you hear him? How do you think? I'm... a witch. Like you, Willow. And presumably like Tanya here as well. For real? Just how many of us are there? That's not an easy question to answer, Willow. Probably a whole coven of them. Well, how about this one? Then, how do you know for sure we're safe from the war? The fact that you and Lydia have become friends is... Let's call it a good omen. A good omen? Uh, we're... a little closer than friends. What? Willow, do you really need to go around telling that to every person that we meet? No, Tanya's not going to have a problem with us. <laughs> right? That depends. Lydia, should you tell her or should I? Tell me what? Right. Oh no, Lydia. I'm sure if there is a war, it won't be my people, the Serbians, who started it. It will be yours. My people? The religious people? What's the name of your Bible study group again? Original Righteous Word? Ever abbreviate that? What? ORW? Wait, Tanya, you think that's the same ORW? That's crazy! Uh, uh, right, Lydia? I said you would hate me, Willow. Oh no. You're part of the organization, aren't you? They had a witch in their employ at that conversion camp. She tortured me for days. Eventually, my powers awakened in self-defense, just like yours did, Willow. How the hell did you know that about me? I'm getting there, Willow. Get to it faster! After ORW learned I had powers, suddenly I wasn't for torturing. I was for training. What? I was given a picture of you. Told you were going to awaken. Be a threat. I was told to eliminate you, Willow. Oh my god, so I chose the... Oh, I chose the wrong person. And we got close to... Damn it, I... I... I was rooting for you, Lydia. I li literally was. We were all rooting for you, damn it. The axe man, the bank robbery, those were my doing. Oh my god. <sighs> I certainly don't expect you to forgive me, Willow. Good, because I won't. Because there's nothing to forgive. What? I'm as perplexed as you. So you were a member of some evil cult. Well, I'm a wicked witch. Match made in heaven, right? <laughs> but Willow, I... I mean, technically, in a way, we did deflect her. We did 
take our orders down. We killed the X-Men and we we embarrassed the bank robbers. So technically, we did beat Lydia in those things. You're ignoring the fact that I tried to have you killed. I prefer to focus on the fact that you failed. Right. Score Willow 1, Lydia 0. <laughs> You're the least humble, most magnanimous person I've ever met. Thank you, Willow. But whatever your views are, I know I have to atone for what I've done. Or what I've tried to do, anyway. Just convince ORW not to start any wars, and we're good. But ORW doesn't want to destroy the world. They have so much power and control, why would they? The status quo is perfect for them. If you admit to being their agent, why should we trust anything you say? Well, why should I trust anything you say? Uh-oh. She's got a crystal ball or something. Ta. Yeah. A crystal ball? Yes. Can I see it? Of course not. I used no such thing. Then, on what basis are you... Is there no end to your questions? I understand you're against Lydia, Tanya, but the way you set that line, that makes me suspicious of you a little bit. Are there no answers to my questions? <clears throat> Whoa there! <laughs> the irresistible force meets immovable object time, huh? <laughs> Come on, Tanya. Lydia was brave enough to reveal her secret. Are you too scared to tell us yours? The reason why I know so much, Velo, is because this isn't the first time all of this has happened. You have the ability to reset the timeline back to just before your powers awaken. Oh my goodness, that is way too powerful. That's kind of OP in a way. Uh, I do? Since when? Since it is hard to measure from your perspective, but on my end, this is far from the first time we have had such a conversation. <sighs> this is blowing my mind. So, this is why ORW wanted me to keep an eye on her. And it is how I knew you were working for ORW. Willow told me so, in another timeline. Yeah, about that. Why didn't you warn me from the start? Oh, I tried, Willow, many times. And that does not go well for you. Well, then, why didn't you tell me to befriend her, or something? You're acting lovey-dovey today, but don't you remember how much you used to hate her yesterday, Willow? If I had told you to befriend Lydia then, what would you have said to me? If you told me the fate of the world was on the line, I would have at least pretended to be nice to her. I did tell you once in another timeline. You are a woman of many talents, Willow, but acting is not one of them. Meaning... Lydia here saw right through your deception, leading to another battle, which you lost. So much for my perfect score against you, Lydia. Just how powerful are you? I've hardly got any power, really. Are you lying? Don't be modest. If you kicked my ass, you must have something special up your sleeve. Hardly. It's not easy to explain, but my hand to God, I've got nearly nothing, Willow. So, Tanya, you knew I'd bring Lydia with me today? Not exactly. More like it was one of several contingencies I knew might occur, based on trend lines. But now that Willow and I are on uh, friendly terms... Perhaps we have a chance to change things? You called it a good omen, right? 
Women's like hearts can be fickle. I won't be. I won't let ORW or anyone else harm Willow. Willow, I vow to protect you as long as my heart still beats. Aw. Lydia, you really mean it? After one night, you... It's been longer for me than one night, Willow. Wait, you had feelings for me for a long time? This is the most romantic thing I've ever heard. No, it isn't. Not even close. Oh? What are you... Never mind. It's not my place. Did we... Did me and Tanya hooked up in another timeline, maybe? Take good care of my villa, Lydia. We probably did, because she's crying. Oh, dear. Now I feel bad for Tanya. I... I'll try my best. Damn. That was a heavy chat. Oh, save, man. Alright, guys. I have to end my video from here, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. Oof.